Hey guys, this is Just Incredible and you're watching Pro Wrestling 101. Today I want to talk about getting heel heat. And what I mean by that is, you know, more, more than just being a heel is being hated. Too many times nowadays I think fans and wrestlers want to be a heel, but they want to be liked. They want to be cheered. They want to be cool. Um, and nowadays I think so many guys don't know what it really means to get heel heat. Um, you know, it just, it just means to me, at least being the worst possible guy, the worst possible competitor you could be out there. I mean, it's more than, you know, guys that you say, be a heel indie guys. And, um, even on the big stage, even in WWE, I find it. And even in, especially in TNA where guys go out there and they just cut a promo and they knock everybody down and they yell and they scream and, you know, they do the stereotypical bad guy heel thing. But it's so much more than that. If you look at the classics, the real guys that stand out, they cheated to win. They were ruthless to win. They, you know, they were whatever the baby face was, they were the complete opposite of what he stood for. And it meant going for it in there. I mean, if it, I mean, it's about kicking somebody when they're down. It's about doing anything cerebral, cerebral, you know, that you could do to, to just combat what that baby face is doing. Cause what we're trying to paint in our world of wrestling, you know, it's, it's, it actually could be very much in, interpreted in an artsy way is, you know, good versus evil. It's very simple. And if you could just imagine what's it, what are the worst things you could do? Guys, if your heels out there, be creative with it. I mean, don't just go out there. I mean, it's real easy to go out there and, yell and scream and and you know rake the eyes but it's so much more than that it's about deliberate nasty aggression it's about just you know cheating to win it's it's about breaking rules and just doing everything that is not right and and sometimes you got to think about it it's not that cut and dry it's not black and white and more guys aren't doing it because they you know it's a, there's easier ways out of it but if you look in history and in today's wrestling business of guys that have success and there are very few today but it, you know especially back in the 80s if you go back and look at some of the classic heels in our business you will see what that is I mean it, and, and it could be small things Paul Heyman said to me and I never I never understood it till I really look back you know introspectively now is you know he said Justin Take guys and give them three shots in the corner, you know, like three jabs, and then, you know, beg them, come on, hit me right here, punk. You know, give them time to recover, hit me right here. And as they go to hit you and wind up, you thumb them in the eyes. You know, it's just, you know, it's that, that stuff, that stuff that makes people say, what a douchebag. You know, that stuff is what gets the emotions out of people. But then when that baby face starts to come back at you and kick your ass, that's when you get your reward and that's when the people come up. You have to look vulnerable and be vulnerable and be that jerk to get that payoff at the end. I'm Justin Credible and that's Pro Wrestling 101.